watching TV to feel like work? Because <laughs> I do. No, but actually. Thank you for joining me. I'm Kyra and I am really into planners and notebooks and stationery and productivity and ways of doing things better. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. I really feel like more and more I put something on and I'm not talking about filler TV. You know, you play the news, like filler TV, whatever. I'm talking about like, you know, you want to watch a series or you want to read a book and pay attention or you're listening to a podcast that's something that you're really interested in and you really want to pay attention and you just find that, you know, you're thinking of something else. You're looking at your phone. Time is passing. Like I have watched a lot of Game of Thrones and I need to start back at the start because I know I could have paid attention better and I just feel like I really need to be more like I'm saying with everything these days, deliberate and intentional and like engaged in what I'm doing when it comes to the consumption of media. Because there are things that get said on movies and shows and in books and on podcasts that to me often I'm like, holy, holy shit, this is like the best thing I've ever heard and it's going to cure my life or this is a really good quote or whatever it is you know, learnings or things you like or things that impact you. And maybe in the moment I will text it to myself or put it in a note in my phone that just goes up to like the freaking Zuckerberg cloud or someplace and never to be revisited again. They exist maybe somewhere or probably in my brain and are long forgotten. And I want to use a notebook to start to collect some of these things. And a lot of people are talking these days about commonplace notebooks. I don't, I haven't like looked into that because part of commonplacing is like really getting into something. So I haven't commonplace the commonplace, but I'm pretty sure commonplace is meant to be more focused on a certain thing. I'm just talking broad and easy, okay? Broad and easy. You know from my last notebook that I was pretty keen to try the old A6 size. So lucky for me, today I went and picked up this little cute, 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 cutesy Stology A6 half year. Yes, I wanted it in yellow. But that's okay. Black is good, okay? Black is good. Someone who's got a black notebook, it's like, whoa, <laughs> they're serious. This is a serious person. Let's open her up. The wrapping is pretty scratched. I think maybe a lot of people considered adopting this notebook and said, that's okay. But today's the day notebook. I got you. Cute, cutie. If you're not familiar with Stology, what got me 499% into this brand is the phrase that is written on all of their products or to my knowledge, all of their products. What should have been is. I love that, I love it. 11 out of 10 most comforting thing I ever heard in my life. And the other reason I like these notebooks is, of course, the really nice paper. So let's just delicately open this up. What I have learned from these last couple of years of getting increasingly into planning and notebooks is you have to remember that this is something that you're going to use, okay? Don't be too precious about it. Use it because I have wasted plenty of notebook and I have for forfeited plenty of idea because I was overthinking about, well, how should this notebook be organized and how should I write it and how should I add it and what's the format? The best thing that you can do is just get into using your notebook, okay? Use it. I have an idea for how I wanna use this notebook as a bullet journal style, quick and dirty, because it needs to be simple and accessible and usable and no pressure, okay? I could open it five times a day or I could open it not for five months. That is my intention behind this notebook to record things that I am seeing on something I'm watching, whether it's a movie or a show or a YouTube or whatever, um, something I'm reading, especially reading because I feel like it's, I enjoy reading the most, but it's also the hardest for me to pay attention <laughs> or things I'm listening to or whatever. I want to be able to have a place to put some of these things that I want to uh, record. And I also would like to have a way of tracking to some degree what I am watching and reading and listening to. And I'm not saying that I'm going to or that I suggest like, you know, 
12, 12.03 p.m. I watched Chase Reeves on YouTube. 12.08 p.m. I watched Becky and Chris. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like things that are important, okay? Like a proper sitting down and proper watching something is what I want to make a note of. So what I'm going to do bullet journal style, okay, not to go on about being too precious, but I, I really got a problem writing on the first page, okay? And what we have discovered as I have started this endeavor is that there are not enough vertical lines for a vertical bullet journal style calendar, but that's okay, okay? We're just gonna, we're gonna split it over two pages because this is uh, a, just a, a get into it notebook, okay? This is just a time of, of get into it and roll with it, and this is how we're gonna do our little media journal, okay? So I'm gonna just start with the month I'm not doing a key or all of the beginning things of a bullet journal, okay? We're just we're just doing quick and dirty, okay? Because this is supposed to be using, okay? This doesn't have to be pretty, it's using. I'm gonna write all of the days of the month down the side. And this is gonna be a twofer. No, my writing is not always pretty, especially at bedtime. What did I end at, 15? Thirty days in September, April, June, and November. Good. Okay, so if you are familiar with how bullet journals work, um, one of the ways of doing your monthlies is just to list it out like this. And then for my purposes here, but you know, you can also adapt this style of journaling to like literally whatever you want. The purpose of these pages is going to be if I'm watching something or reading or whatever it is that I want to record on whatever date, then I can write it in on this date, okay? Like The Office Season 1, Episode 1, if I so choose for that to be important enough to record. Obviously, it's pretty fucking important. Okay, then true to bullet journal style, I'm not like sectioning this. Well, there is going to be probably one section, but I'm not sectioning this out, okay? It's just the following page is now going to be the date. So... Let's just say that tomorrow I'm going to watch something. Stology has this pre-written register of how you can circle the month and the day. I still, it's just small and like, honestly, this is my, literally, this is the first time in my life using an A6 <laughs> notebook. Welcome, I'm so happy you could be here for it. I'm just gonna write at the top what the date is, okay? So for whatever reason, this is how I like to write my dates. Okay, so picture this fleshed out with more days and more usage. I can now go back and look, oh, on September 12th, I watched, what's that cool show I just recently watched with Juliette Lewis? Yellow Jackets, okay, let's say. So on this page, I'm going to say Yellow Jackets, and I'm gonna flip through my book and find that date and it will be Yellow Jackets, and I can write down something I wanted to know about watching Yellow Jackets, okay? This can be a quote, or something interesting, or something important, or something that reminds you of somebody, or something that reminds you of something to do with nothing, okay? If you're watching it and you need to write something down pertaining to it, maybe you wanna do a review, you wanna get into doing some reviews on your socials, this is where you would write it. And then time passes and days pass, and you will have collected yourself a very nice, a very easy, a very organized, above and for, above and, what's it called? Above. You will have a very organized and most importantly, productive way of keeping a record of what you're watching, reading, whatever, and your thoughts on it, your comments on it, whatever you wanna do with it. And to me, this is going to be the way to overcome the problem, or at least to some degree, overcome the problem of unintentionally, willy-nilly, wasting hours and brains, watching away whatever, and then not even <laughs> knowing what I watched. This is gonna solve that. There's also a big aspect to this. I don't know if this happens to you, but it happens to me. So we're gonna section out a bit of the back, okay? 
And again, we're not being precious, so let's just take like some amount of pages. I got a lot of ideas, so I'm going to take quite a few. And this is going to be my watch list, read list, listen list, whatever. If you know, you're just at some random time and you're like, you know, I want to, I'd really like to re-watch Mad Men, okay? I would like to re-watch with my new intentional way of watching Mad Men and actually pay attention this time. So I'm going to have this back section for my watch list and I'm going to put on here Mad Men. I don't know about you but for me I just like literally constantly have ideas coming to my head so I'll probably fill a list pretty quick but then at least I know you know when you're just so tired and you put on the TV and you just like don't know what you should watch because there's 800 million billion trillion choices now you got a list of what are series I actually wanted to work on watching and then bullet journal style at least for me like when I'm partially done I'll write a strike through like a strike through part of it and then when I'm fully done I'll turn it into an X okay a big thing about bullet journaling that you are more than welcome to do but I am not prepared to do for this simple willy-nilly is having numbered pages that is why the Leuch term is really good for this. I'm always on the fence about picking it up because um, it's just a little too chonky. Like it's chonky out of the box. Like this is just slim small. Where are those really nice tabs that I used to have? Okay, let's just use this moon washi we were using before. And I'm just going to quickly indicate off that this is the September page so that when this starts getting filled, I will have some way of referencing to my main page for the month. And then we will also find our watch list and make a note of that page so that when we are tired and upset from our long, hard week at work, it'll be so easy to find this page and see what we want to watch. That's all, that's it. I'm very thrilled. I'm, I'm very thrilled to have a, a journal that is just for watching and reading and listening. And you know, if you're really advanced at journaling and you're really leveled up, I would suggest a separate journal for reading, separate for everything. But for me, we're doing keep it simple, keep it accessible. And this is going to be our A6 watching, reading, listening, a, a smart person would say media, media journal. That's all, and 11 out of 10 recommend this little Stology, like something about, it's just so satisfying. Oh, love it. Thank you for joining me. I hope this helped you get some ideas for how you can be more productive and more intentional and more present in the media that you're consuming and give you some ideas for a way to record how that's going to look or maybe just some ideas about bullet journaling generally. I really appreciate you being here. Give it a like if you like it. Feel free to leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye! Oh, my foot's asleep.